my food service, you know, for me, I just been doing this type of work for so long. Food service is easy to me. You know what I mean? And besides that, I just like, you know, being in the truck, being on my own, and not being enclosed in four walls, man. No, man, you actually don't need any experience to work for GFS. Um, you know, you can be a new CDL holder, somebody that just got their CDLs, and you can come work for GFS and start your trucking career. Definitely look into it. How many hours do I work? Um, I personally work about 40 to 43 hours on my route, man. You know, the hours can vary based on your route. I run chain account with GFS. I work four days a week, so, you know, that, that number could be a little higher, obviously, for somebody that's working five days a week. Uh, but for me, I only work, you know, 40 to 43 hours a week. <laughs> Have I ever thought about quitting? I mean, I'll be honest, man. You probably won't find one food service driver that hasn't thought about it at least one time. <laughs> so yeah man I, there's been times where I thought about it but not necessarily because I hate what I do I actually like what I do I like my job the thought has crossed my mind simply because I know that there's so much more than I'm meant to do uh, in my life so you know I know that food service and the job I have right now is just a part of the process it's a small piece of the puzzle as to you know the journey that I'm on and, and what I'm really supposed to be doing so you know everything that I've gone through in life and this goes for everybody really you know everybody has ups and downs and good days bad days you know everybody go through things in life but I'm a firm believer that you know everything that we go through it just at the end of the day it makes us who we are as individuals and they're all experiences that mold us and shape us into the individuals that, that we become. And so this point in time, you know, working for GFS, it's just a part of the, the, the plan, man. It's just a small piece of the puzzle. So I embrace where I am in life right now, but I know that I'm meant to do so much more. So that's why the thought have crossed my mind. Just because I'm looking at the overall bigger picture and there's always a feeling inside of me that, man, you meant to do so much more. So that's why I think about things like that, man. Food service is a very physically demanding job, man. You know, um, it's not for everybody. But anybody that want to do this job and you got the right mindset, you have the right mentality and you have patience, you can do this job and have success at it. You know what I mean? Um, I think food service is a good job for somebody that want to stay local and be home every night. Uh, food service is definitely one of those jobs where you're going to make some really good money. But. At the end of the day, it's different strokes for different folks, man. You're gonna find some people that hate food service and you're gonna find some people that like food service. Notice I didn't say love. I haven't really came across too many people that say they love food service, but you know, a lot of people like it. You know what I mean? And um, so yeah, man, it, it's, it's really what you make of it. There's uh, several different food service companies out there some companies are better than others in my opinion but all of them you can make some good money at so just do your research and get into the game man man that's a good question so the best advice that i would give to my younger self would definitely be invest start investing the earlier you start the better you know um when i was growing up man 
I didn't have anybody in my family talking about investing, talking about the importance of having good credit and things of that nature. You know, my parents, God bless them, and RIP to my dad, man. Um, they they did very well. You know, they raised us the best they knew how. Me and my two brothers, and um, you, you know, I can't fault them for not educating us on those things because they were only teaching us what they knew so i really you know can't fault them but now as an adult as a 40 year old you know father husband and knowing what i know now as it relates to investing i definitely pass that knowledge on to my daughter um you know that's 18 years old she'll be 19 in, in two months i preach to her about investing and, and starting early and you know what you can have in terms of your finances when you get my age if you start early that's what i talked to her about i help her open up a brokerage account so she has started investing so you know she just have to continue to consistently put money away she just has to keep it going from this point and just stay consistent, stay disciplined, and understand that by doing what you're doing now, it's gonna pay off in the long run. And so that's what I always tell her because I want her to be financially able to do anything she wanna do when she wanna do it. And by investing now, in the next 20 years, she'll be set. She'll be in a position to, to do that. So. Yeah, man, investing would definitely be the number one thing. All right, man, so I appreciate you guys for tapping in with your boy today. I'm Anthony TV. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me, man. Like this video, drop a comment if you got a comment. Until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Shh.